Yo, he's creeping, bro. Yo, he's like going into dark alleys and shit. Probably gonna go to the black market or something. Hey guys, it's Leviathan, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up the legend of Vox Machina. We're on episode two, and man, oh man, was episode one a great start? We met the crew Vox Machina, a um, ragtag band of mercenaries. I was calling them a party last episode, but they're a band of mercenaries, and um, they're not the most uh, reliable crew that you would hire for certain jobs and things like that. They're they're some crazy unique characters, honestly, and they're very mem memorable too. Like. Um, you got Vex and Vax, you know, you got Grog, Percy, Pike, Kalid, Scanlan, and even the bear Trinket. Yeah, I'm impressed I remembered all those names after the first episode, so that, that's good. We get started with their adventure, you know, they, they get hired to go fight this um, monster that's terrorizing this village or something like that. So they kind of enter in and they meet the villagers there, you know, kind of um, kind of get some, like, kind of bond with them, you know, as, as, a, as a group, you know. Then they go off to try to fight the beast. Turns out the beast is a giant-ass lightning dragon that's terrorizing everything, and they're outmatched completely. So they end up up trying to give up as they usually do but they go back to the village and find out that the dragon terrorized everything there you know the real terror of tell de Rey, as the, as the title of the episode suggests so honestly it, it was the kind of a uh, boost that they needed to kind of um go in and fight the dragon so i'm excited to really see what's gonna happen with episode two here yeah we're gonna get started with that don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below as well so you know when i upload next and make sure you check out the patreon link as well you get full on cut reactions of this show other animes movies other stuff you know honestly check it out appreciate all the support that comes on there but with that note we're gonna get started with the legend of vox machina episode two the Legend of Tal Deray, Part 2. That was so long of a title, but well, let's just get started. Man, I bet you this army was going through it when they were battling that dragon, man. That, that shit was like doing some crazy elemental stuff. But you are the arms of Amon. Entrusted by Sovereign They still don't Uriel know what that monster is, man? We don't so you're telling me that uh, Vox Machina is the only one to find out that it was a dragon? Our training, okay. our devotion to this land. You heard the general. For honor! For the kingdom! For the kingdom! <laughs> Let's finish making camp. A storm's blowing through tonight. That's ominous as shit. Is the storm that they're talking about the dragon coming through? Yo, that thing just decimated oh, all of them. <laughs> Yo, they don't stand a chance, Police! man, at all. <laughs> that lady got yeeted, bro. She was just like completely electrocuted, man. Yo, they're, yo, they're scared, man. Oh, is this the opening? Hey! Yo, I didn't know they had a cool-ass opening for this show. Alright. Vex and Vax looks like they have like a very, very um, dark backstory. I wonder what the symbolism of that golden string is, you know, in the opening that was like connecting all of them. I think it's just to, I think it's a connection um, to them, I guess. The beast is a blue dragon, sir. Only a few of us managed to escape. My God. But to my experience, dragons are fiercely intelligent, calculating creatures. Their machinations run deep. That makes sense because the dragon that massacred that village looked like it did it with such precision. Like it wasn't a wild beast at all, you know? Safe to say you've sent Vox Machina to their doom? Doom? We don't know the meaning of the word. Well, I certainly don't. <laughs> I can't believe you made it out alive. How did you survive? Mm, trade secrets, I'm afraid, Creepy. That's even more we impressive that the away. fact that they all lived. A dragon cannot be bartered with. If it desires Amon's destruction, it will not relent. 
You heard her, sire. You know what must be done. No, we will bring the fight to it. On our terms. Yo, I swear to God General, that the, the king guy is Cyborg's voice actor. Sire, I like no, instantly I noticed it. <laughs> I felt it again. That same feeling I had around the dragon. Do you think that guy there who's working with the council is actually One like is working with the dragon? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. So what do we do next? Vax and Pike go to Gilmore's. Buy us a weapon that can kill a dragon. Uh, with what? We're flat fucking broke. Please, with the way that man dotes on you, I'm sure you can work something out. <laughs> yo, yo, he's gonna use his uh, male charms on him, eh? <laughs> you know, I you thought they were gonna just to jump in and fight the dragon mystery. right away, but I like Imagine. them kind of going back, coming oh. back and regrouping Welcome and thinking about Gilmore's it. Glorious good. Why, if it isn't the mysterious facts? Ooh la la. la. <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh, Ooh la la. I, was you would swing back <laughs> I knew this is what he was gonna do. Particularly, how to kill them. Well, for 20,000 gold, I'll sell you this handy dandy magic lance of dragon slaying. <laughs> a fantastic bargain. Yo, that shit sounds like such a scam, <laughs> man. Is there any way to stop them? <sighs> Honestly, uh, there's no simple way to kill a dragon. Even in tomes of old, legends of their destruction are largely poetic drivel. The worm shall only find defeat in the gorge where the twin rivers meet. Gilmore, this is all very helpful. Even the bullshit. If we survive this, <laughs> I owe you dinner. You owe me more than that, my handsome half-elf. All right, you two, four plays over. So, um, what are we supposed to be doing again? Oh, uh, searching for fence or something? God, this is boring. You know what? Screw Vex and her stupid feather head. I'm going to the brothel. Oh, yo, they found him, bro. They found him. <laughs> they found him slurking and slurking. <laughs> Slurkin's not even a word. My genius is... It's almost frightening. Yo, he's creeping, bro. Yo, he's like going into dark alleys and shit. Probably gonna go to the black market or something. He's sneaking up to that fancy manor. Oh, <laughs> oh, these guys suck at espionage, man. They suck. <laughs> Sturdy lock. Nothing a little magical song can't handle. Man. Open your back door, baby. Loosen your hinges, I'll show you my key. Dude. 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 Yeah, it's like they're trying every single, like, magical thing to do this, but all you need is a, just a lock pick, and finesse. that's it. Apparently Creed lives here, and has dreadful taste in art. Oh, shit! I bet Fence is here to assassinate his ass. Oh, you think? Bro, and this guy even has a creepy ass room that he's robbing too. This guy is hella suspicious. I blue swear to God. Chicken humper, <laughs> drop your blade. These documents are evidence. General Krieg is planning. To... Wait, General Krieg is the one who's the betrayer who has the scent of the dragon? Yo, yo, they threw me through a loop through that one, man. Yo, that's a twist right there. That's a twist right there. You've been lucky so far, but you have no idea wow, what dude. you have got. What happened for into. honor, bro? What happened for the king, bro? What happened for the kingdom? What happened to all of that? All your men died for nothing. I guess. <laughs> there must be a hidden exit or trap door. Fan out. Look for some kind of fulcrum. Wait, a fuck room? I mean, that's what I heard. A lever, a button. Just... That's what I heard too, man. Oh, 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 man. oh how beautiful. Oh, Grog is literally like. Grog. Like, it's right there. <laughs> so beautiful, bro. So nice beautiful. Work. I'm laughing how they were like hyping up Kaleth for a second for just throwing a book. <laughs> Organized as one. Please, we, we don't do organize. Look at us. We're Vox Machina. We fuck shit up. Can we at least try? Can we at least go already? Lead the way, big man. Was that what like a uh, was that I like a teleportation thing? Cause that doesn't look like it would have been underground too. Wherever. Would it have been? Far from Imon. 
There are old legends where like dragons like can eat gold or something like that. I don't know how much of it, how much of that legend is like accurate or whatever, but all I know is dragons love collecting gold. Wait, wait, wait! This gold didn't fall out of the fucking sky. This is a hoard. We're in the dragon's lair. I must say, I'm impressed. To tell you the truth, I was certain you would die the moment you met the mighty Brimsai. Is that he was the a dragon? Time when dragons ruled all. Is he? Of I think he might be the dragon. When we ruled the entire world. He, he is the dragon. Yo, that is an even bigger twist that I did not expect. No wonder the dragon was so hard to kill and how it was so intelligent. It has like the the skills of a, um, I guess a, a knight leader, but with like the attack power of a dragon man. Like... This guy figured out he figured out where to how to kill it, man. You, you cut off the the connection to the lightning. So what do you want us to do? Run out and yell, "Hey, Dragon Man!" We don't no, know bro, we're, we're Vox doing. Machina, bro. We fuck shit up. That's what we do. Hey, Tank Smear, you're in my way again, you ape. Uh, what you call me? Maybe I'll squash you too. Oh, as if either of you could kill anything. Preening peacoat and peacock and a witless goon. You are nothing but a. <laughs> they actually took that hit? Why would they take that hit? Impossible. <clears throat> gotcha. No! It was an illusion! I'm surprised a regular dagger actually cut out its mate like that. Dragon skin is very, very tough, man. But yeah, it's done. It's done. I like the I like the music there, yo. Yo, berserker mode garage right here. <laughs> Take that shit out. Yeah. We did that, right? It seems being a bunch of assholes has its merits. <laughs> Souvenir? <laughs> Proof we killed the scaly turd. Bro, I would take a dragon tooth too. Hell yeah, yeah man. Exit strategy. Run. I like that. She took some money with her, yo. What? That was smart. Vox Machina. For your selfless heroism, I proclaim you all protectors of the realm. They're moving up in the world, <laughs> man. Vox Machina. Yes, yes, yes. That's all fine and good. But where is the. Huh. There we are. There it is. Payday! Uh... The deed to your new keep here in Imar. We need our protectors close at hand to, you know, protect. <laughs> bro, I'd be mad pissed, bro. This guy told them that we're gonna get paid, bro. He told them we're gonna get paid. As protectors, you must understand that the threat is far from over. We suspect Krieg may have been part of a larger plot. As such, I have arranged an important banquet to discuss the security of our realm. Damn, are we gonna be fighting some more dragons or like creatures like that? Cause it looks like this there was a bigger plan that Krieg was doing. Lady Briarwood, there's something blocking the road. Can you go around it, Desmond? Allow me, my love. Who are these two? Lady Briarwood and who's this Dracula looking guy, man? Oh, he's a fancy one. We want everything you and the missus got, unless you want to be gutted like a fish. <laughs> what the, fuck? the heck? That's what I'm thinking too. Hold up, is this guy also a dragon as well? I hope it wasn't too much trouble, Silas. Delilah, my dear, it was nothing. There's a possibility that could be the dragon that um, Vax and Vex are um, uh, hunting, I think. Or the one that killed their family or something. Still kind of vague on that. Okay. 
Legend of Vox Machina episode 2. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I, I'm gonna like this show. I'm gonna like this series. I can already tell. Um, like, I'm, like, I just want to jump into the third episode right away. <laughs> Quick recap of that episode. It was great, honestly. You know, I didn't. I thought we were going to jump right into the um, the battle with the uh, dragon and things like that. But I, I'm glad that we um, moved back out and they kind of regrouped and things like that. So they can kind of uh, figure out what they needed to figure out about the dragon. You know, you had like trying to figure out how to kill it and figuring out why there was a connection with this Fence guy. The, the weird... Um, skinned guy or whatever they thought he was the person who had a connection with the dragon but they really threw me through um a loop over there because it was a good twist i didn't expect that creed guy the the knight leader who was all about for honor and everything to be the dragon that was actually a big big twist that was that was very very refreshing i didn't expect him to be the dragon though that was an even bigger twist not gonna lie but that actually opened up a lot more into this um into the lore of this show because now we know that humans can be dragons and things like that that the two little people at the end of the episode there looked really really interesting so i'm excited to see what their whole stick is with that note i'm gonna end the video here thank you guys all for the support you give it's been greatly appreciative make sure you guys also um give a like on the video you know if you to show your support but um with that note i will see you guys around peace out and have a great day bye